What's up, everybody? Big Will, K-Pop for Life, coming back at ya. And welcome to another episode of K-Pop Rants. Yo, you feel the oh no. What happened? This music is so intense. I had, I had many questions of the fans, including a question which was written in Japanese. Where are you now? Sana have replied in Japanese, Fushigi no Kuni? The Korean subtitles of reply, which were translated according to the official Japanese Korean dictionary was, Ishigani Nara, which means strange country. Oh my gosh, she's so racist. The screenshot of the Korean subtitles have been spread over the internet with light speed. Attracting a lot of views and comments. Many people are getting angry at Sana's comments. Fuck off. If Korean is bizarre, then Japan is so wonderful, huh? She's hopeless. How many times has she said stupid things? What can we expect from a Japanese? She has been earning money from Korean people, but still talking shit about us. However, there are still many people who think that this is a mistake in translation. The fans of Sana pointed out that the phrase she has used must be translated as Magical Land, just like the name of a famous fairy tale. This was the way she revealed a little bit about the concept of her group's upcoming comeback. Currently, Sana and her agency haven't had any feedback on this controversy yet. Still been a hot topic. People are demanding that Sana explain. Shut the fuck up. All right, so there was that. <laughs> <laughs> More pointless ass controversy for no reason. Uh, listen, listen, I, I don't speak Japanese. I don't, and I don't care about this controversy, but apparently a lot of people do. So I figured, you know, I'm going to put my two cents in, damn it. And uh, here's the way I see it I don't hear any context. All right, context matters. Context is important. And I don't see any context in any of this controversy that I've seen so far. If she did say the words, strange country what was the context it was in did everybody giggle afterwards like maybe they were having a joke about it in the previous part of the conversation because it was like a v live thing was it they were on site filming whatever video they were filming and they were i mean i've seen the teasers for the video they're on like some fucking mountaintop it looks like secrets yoohoo video from back in the day they're on some cliff face so uh, maybe that's strange and that's what she's talking about I mean, let's be real. Sana's from Japan, right? Freaky dicky sex world. That's what Japan is. They, they have talking toilets and uh, kitty owl cafes and cat cafes. And they have like people that will come and like cuddle with you for a fee. Like, like Japan is fucking crazy, right? Like I want to visit there, but it's a crazy country. It, there's a lot of crazy cool things that happen there. Very unique, very original country. And uh, Korea... From what I've seen and from people that I know that have been to both countries, it's like night and day there. It's, it's not, no, no. If she said strange country, contextually is important. It's very important. I mean, if you just came from Japan. In fact, I know people that have gone to Japan and had like a two-day layover and then flown to South Korea to spend their trip. And when they get to South Korea... They go, wow, this is way different than Japan. <laughs> it's, it's just like a night and day difference. Um, I mean, just on, on the level of, of just technology, how it's integrated into society is a stark contrast, even from the United States. I mean, Japan is big on that. It's, it's a very different, very unique, very crazy country. And I don't mean crazy in a bad way. Again, listen to context, angry Japanese people watching this. So it makes no sense when all these fucking netizens who are just looking for a reason to be pissed off. And you know it's people that hate twice. That's what it really is. It's people that just hate on twice for whatever fucking reason. Whether they're army or whether they're just, you know, anti-pretty girls because they're ugly or, you know, whatever the case may be. Because I've made this point before. And I'm 99% positive that, like, the bulk majority of K-Nets are just annoying little girls. Like, fucking 15, 16-year-old bastard kids in the room. And yeah, yeah. So aside from that, though, again, context matters. What was happening around this uh, conversation that brought this up? And also, even if she did say those words, 
it technically is a strange country to her, but I mean, that's not, why does that necessarily have to, to carry negative connotations? I mean, I don't, I don't get that part either. I, I sometimes feel that certain people are just too damn sensitive about everything. If she came here and she was like, oh yeah, this is a strange country. And even if she said it negatively, I would just be like, yeah, <laughs> compared to where you're from. Yeah, it's pretty different. <laughs> Sana, JYP and twice. Do not apologize.